headed out to go catch the bus to Universal and there's a hawk right on our sidewalk. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little closer. What a way to kick off a video. Anyway, we're headed to Universal. You guys know what to do. There he goes. Grab yourselves, I'll zoom back out. Oh he went out God. there. A tasty treat and a beverage of your choice to keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside this vlog at all times. That was awesome, huh, Teddy? Walking, walking with you. Okay, you can walk. So today, we're actually gonna take Link's bus over to Universal. So walk over to Disney University wasn't bad, and I went on the app and figured out my pass, and that easy, that was easy, easy. Teddy is still free, because he's under six. I have a month long pass to test out and see how we like it. And um, it is gonna take quite a while, I won't lie, to go from here, out behind the Magic Kingdom, all the way over to Universal. But we're gonna give it a go, and then maybe going forward, we'll schedule and budget in maybe Uber rides for one way or back from Universal or SeaWorld. So I was just checking the app again. So yeah, so you have to leave here and go all the way downtown to like the inner thing there where everything connects and then get a bus to Universal. So it is quite time consuming. Normally we would leave earlier than we are leaving this morning, but it was still kind of up in the air whether he wanted to do Universal and try all of this today or whether he just wanted to go resort hop. So, well, we're doing it today as kind of a test day. Hi there. We made it to Central Station. That really wasn't that bad at all. That um, 300 line bus we were on picked up at Disney University. It went to the TTC, Disney Springs, and then right down here to Central Station in downtown Orlando. Now we're transferring to bus 38. It's like a 10 minute wait in between. And then we'll be on bus 38 headed to Universal. We're through security at Universal. Links was actually really easy. I mean, it does take more time than if you drove yourself or took an Uber or something, but absolutely doable in my opinion. Next time, if we wanted to get here earlier, we would just leave earlier in the morning. <laughs> Not much changes. Teddy's had to do this first thing for years now. Smile and say cheese, honey. All right, we'll try again now that it's just you in the picture. Say cheese. I know, smile. Now we are through turnstiles. Teddy has to check out all these other methods of transportation. Yeah? Are you excited for a day here at Universal Islands of Adventure? Yeah? A little breezy here, but we wanted to show you this Christmas happening in Seuss Landing. Super exciting. Yeah? Yeah, at Christmas. Wow, yeah, just lightly, very lightly, honey, explore. This is super exciting. And our family, we're super excited about Christmas this year, so we're going to be covering anything Christmas we possibly can. And Teddy immediately wanted to come here and play. So while there's nobody running through at this minute, I can show you some of the refurbs. Because last time we were here, they were still working on a lot of this. Like, the little sneeze it thing wasn't sneezing. Now he is. The, the little extended cow there. And like this. This is all new, and I know I'm looking at him from his butt. I apologize, but it's shady right here, so I'm going to take advantage of it for right now. So this is the If I Ran a Zoo play area here in Seuss Landing. You can get yourself some green eggs and ham. Cat in the Hat ride is up there. I don't know what wait times are today, so I don't know what we'll do besides just walk around. Wait a minute, I want to get your picture. Look at you. Try the front one. I think he wiggles more, sweetie. on just his own little mission. <laughs> so Teddy played for a while. We ate some snacks, had some water, then we went on Cat in the Hat, which as you know, I cannot fill on Universal Rides, but now we're in line for one fish, two fish. Which is, Teddy's in love with these rides right now. Like he loves Dumbo, he loves Aladdin's Magic Carpet, Triceratops Spin. So when we were here the last couple times, this actually wasn't working. So he's really excited to get on this today. I bet he's gonna try to get me wet. What do you bet? All right, I'm not gonna film. I just wanted to show us sitting in here. He's already threatening me. He goes, we're not gonna stay dry, mama. We're not gonna stay dry. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to show you my pants in a minute. He got me so. He's very, 
very proud of himself, aren't you? Yeah, he got me so. You're not as wet as me, boo. He keeps going, I'm wet. I'm like, no, you're not. If you sit on the inside like child children have to, it's much safer. I will show you if I can. My pant legs are soaked. So yeah, I mean, it will dry and luckily it's not really cold today, but wow, beware. Beware if you ever ride this ride with Teddy. He's out for blood. Huh, boo? You're very proud of yourself, aren't you? Huh, what did you think of that ride? Good. It's a good day for getting wet. It's a good day for getting wet. There's a lot of cute, like, whimsical Christmas decor through here. Like, the whole one fish, two fish sign is all, like, tinsel. I was going to show you, but there was a family sitting right outside of it, so. But there is. There's a lot to walk around and look at here on it. On the count of three, we're going to all say them. Trees? Trees. We just caught the very end of that Seuss character show, but super cute. Hi, you ready? Are you ready for the carousel? Yes. Oh, yes. We uh, got off the carousel. We were going through the little trail here that's all awesome, like Lorax. And even the ornaments are themed, so if you really take your time and absorb the details, it's well worth it. Teddy's listening. So yeah, it's a little side trail you can take here right like in front of the carousel. And uh, to the right of me is the Circus McGurkis, but it's super cute. Do you hear anything, Teddy? Listen, it says. Listen. Look, there's even tinsel around these. And Teddy's found what like, feels like sawgrass, huh? <laughs> oh, look, there's even lights, Teddy. I didn't realize that. So this must be really pretty, like at night. Look, there's even mini lights on the garland. Teddy wanted the uh, Seuss trolley, but it is down right now. So I don't know if we'll make it back by today or not, but that's usually a must do for us here as well. Teddy's gonna pause here. There's just cool looking stuff everywhere right now. Getting me really in the mood for Christmas. There's a lot of Christmas merchandise as well. I'm not going to go in great detail. I'm going to kind of go in and show you a few things, but Teddy has a couple more things he'd like to hit before we start taking the buses home. So just going to go in and take a little bit of a peek, but I love this t-shirt. Feast mode. Teddy's pointing out that these glasses, these collectible or drinking glasses say feast mode as well. That, that is really adorable. Look at this cookie jar. Feeling Grinchy cookie jar. And then you have some magnetiles. A Grinch advent calendar, countdown calendar. Oh, and then look at this shirt. That's nice. We're looking at the regular Grinch plush. And then I was pointing out to Teddy, they have a Santa Grinch plush. Oh, and Max, huh? Yeah another Grinch jersey and this little mini Grinch. Is he like a shoulder pal, I wonder? I can't quite tell. And then look, the baby Grinch, Max. <gasps> oh, look at like the cocoa tea coffee mugs, Teddy. Those would be nice for some cocoa too. There's no cocoa in them. He's trying to smell them like there's cocoa in them. Oh, look at these. So if you're into building villages and stuff, look, you have Mount Crumpet, you have that, you have some ornaments, you have a tumbler. Then we have this Grinch in his uh, flannel, his plaid fan flannel, red and black. Ooh, all kinds of ornaments too, Grinch themed ornaments. Teddy came out the small door, the short door. I came out the bigger door. We took the shortcut. We didn't go through the Wizarding World. We came out around, get up here into Jurassic. I love this scene. I could take a million pictures of this. I'd still love to have a Jeep like that. 
hanging out in Camp Jurassic. Teddy's getting ready to go over that big rope way up there. Look at him climbing way up high. So here in Camp Jurassic, this play area is mammoth. I mean, probably as big as the boneyard at Animal Kingdom, if not bigger. I'm just sitting on a rock, hanging out. Shady, so that's fine by me. He keeps coming by and checking in and doing his thing. It's pretty shady here right now. Nice breeze. The weather's beautiful. I have no complaints. This is his thing now. Splash pad hidden back up behind there somewhere. Somebody uh, played really hard again, so we're having a water break. Actually, he's got a cup of just ice going. He's gonna suck and chop on some ice. And rehydrate, he likes to rehydrate that way a lot. But hey, I filled up Bluey just in case we do want some uh, ice water. That's the refillable cup we're carrying around today because we just drank water. But the view is not bad. There is some Christmas decor in here. There's some garland. There's some trees up. But can't be just rehydrating next to some dinosaur bones. So I did just some brief research on vegan options, which would also be alpha gal friendly for me. And I didn't have time to do a lot of research before we came today, but just did a quick search of vegan snacks. And this brownie from the bakery that's up front of Islands of Adventure came out as a highly recommended. And they also said to ask them to warm it up a bit, which I did, which actually I think she warmed up a bit too much, so I'm letting it cool. But this was what Teddy thought. I also was eyeing up the vegan pizza tots that are over there, like where you get the hoo hash, the green eggs and ham. But Teddy had a sweet tooth and he wanted a brownie, so we're going with a brownie. So what do you think, brownie connoisseur? How would you rate that, one out of 10? A hundred. A hundred, all right, I'll try it. All right, so I'm gonna have my first try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my, oh my, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The brownie was absolutely, uh, like Teddy said, out of a 10, it was a 100. Even if you're not vegan or have allergies to dairy and all that, oh, you would never know that was vegan. Ask them to warm it up for you a smidgen, and I highly recommend that brownie. Oh my goodness, and it was super affordable. I mean, like after my annual pass holder discount, it was well under $5. So really good snack, shareable with Teddy just fine. And that is gonna do it for us. We're going to continue to update you on our bus ride home just to continue, because that was part of today's vlog as well. But as far as Universal's Islands of Adventure, that's gonna do it for us. We're gonna start heading home. It, we made it home and I actually had a lot I was going to talk about um, doing with the bus wife and then we got home to no internet. So I've done everything I can think of, called the internet company and I've had trouble with this router before. Sadly, I just bought this router when we moved in like a month and a half ago. So I don't know, I might need a, a new ethernet cable and I don't have any kicking around the house. So. Anyway, Teddy, did you think the bus ride was successful? Uh-huh, he's tired. We're both tired. We didn't, we had a great day, but we didn't need to come home to no internet. Luckily we do, if I can turn you around to show you, we do have regular cable we can watch, not many channels, but he's happy watching ESPN, so. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I was talking to Mark about it, and I think you have to figure in that it takes you about two hours to get over, an hour and a half to two hours to get over to Universal, hour and a half to two hours to get home, and if you're willing to do that, the bus could save us a 
you know, a lot of money over on Uber. Just to remind you, like I did in last night's video, we are currently in this family without a vehicle. We have no vehicle to use right now whatsoever. I'm not going into details. If you know, you know, it just is what it is. And uh, we're going to make do best we can until we can replace that vehicle. So anyway, make and do best we can. Hope you enjoyed what we did learn. Um, I don't know if I had put it in the beginning. So I bought a month pass for links and it was 50 bucks for the month. Unlimited. Teddy is still free because he is under six years old still. So it, it worked out good and, and he was pretty good through all of it. He really kind of took it all in stride and did really well with it. And I'm sure as time goes on and I do more Uber, Lyft and bus and everything, I will talk about it, you know, here and there. And if you ever have questions, please don't hesitate to ask and I'll fit them into like a weekly chit chat check in or something. Like I said, I was going to say more tonight at the ending, but after we've had to deal with the internet, I, I just want to have a snack and get us to bed. So peace and love gang, keep adventuring and hey, what's next? Where will you find us next?